So you've just put a lot of effort into starting your seedlings or planting your seeds, getting your beds prepared. Next minute, the soil is raised, you have tunnels everywhere, you have mounds of soil, and your seeds don't germinate, and sometimes your seedlings have disappeared. This is one of the big challenges when it comes to growing your own food. Being able to identify what is busy plaguing your garden and what you can do to prevent it from happening again. This video and in this specific instance, I know it's a vole. And this vole is busy coming for the freshly prepared bed and all those new tender roots that are busy coming out of the newly planted beds. Because there are a few things that I didn't do, which I've done with my other beds, which is a great opportunity to share with you what you can do to stop these pesky little animals from getting into your bed and destroying all of your hard work. So now we have admitted, this is very frustrating, but it doesn't need to be too frustrating because there are ways to stop this from happening. The first thing we need to do is identify that we're actually dealing with moles, voles, gophers, mole rats. Which one are we actually dealing with? Because the way you treat them is differently or prevent them at least. In my instance, I know it's a vole, firstly because the dogs have caught quite a few, but I don't really want them in these beds, digging everything up to catch them. They're in the rest of the garden, in a grass, small grass area, and they've actually caught them. And they're quite small. That is the first giveaway that on my side, it's a vole. Gophers are pretty big. Um, mole rats are also much bigger than voles. And then moles are quite big, especially where we are here in Cape Town. We've actually got the, the golden mole, golden sand mole, uh, sand dune moles, and they have huge mounds that they create. This is not the case here. Um, what we are looking at is a vole, and the way that you tell is you can see all of these little tunnels. They're not lifting the soil, they're simply raising it slightly. And you'll see little cracks on the soil sometimes, but more often than not, it's just a, a slight little raise in the soil. But what it is doing, which is why it's so important to treat it, is it's creating a little air pocket, small, because they're quite small. What that air pocket is doing, as soon as the roots of the plants grow, they then dangle in the air, and we all know what happens when roots are exposed to the air they die off. That's why you have air pruning pots. So what we want to do is know that it's them so we know what to do. But then secondly is we need to gently recompact the soil because we need to reduce that air pocket to make sure that the plants, when they, the roots expand, that they're actually expanding into soil and not into nothing. So we're going to compress it. And then what we're going to look at is a few things. Firstly, we're going to look at using plants as a preventative measure. Then we're going to look at barriers. We're going to look at wind deterrent. For me, I've used one of each in different places and all of them work really well for me. Take this all with a pinch of salt because what works for me in my climate might not work for you. That's why I am wanting to give you multiple options. So let's have a look at some of them and you can trial and test and hopefully keep voles mole rats, all of these out of your garden and enjoy an immense amount of food. Now the very first one I want to show you is the use of plants. Now for me, I have tried a lot of things and they just have not worked. The only thing I have found to work is this. It is wild garlic. If you crush the leaves, they smell pungently like garlic. You can use these, you can eat them fresh, you can use them in a lot of different dishes, but this is not what's deterring the moles or the voles. It's this. You can see they have very, very thick, dense root masses. And these roots hone of garlic. <laughs> they are very, very, very strong. So all you do is you plant these and you can see the depth is, I would say about 20, they quite easily go 40 to 60 centimeters de deep, but they also spread along the soil. So this one I have pulled out so that you can see what it looks like, but ultimately roots go down and out. So this is a really great border or perimeter plant. Um, and then if I dig down here, you can see, I hope you can, 
the roots spread out and it's a really good preventative measure for your plants. The next one is mechanical, which is this little windmill. Here in South Africa, the guys sell these and make them on the side of the road everywhere. You can pick them up for quite a bargain and it's basically a whole bunch of metal put together that have legs that you can stick into the ground and when the wind blows this makes quite a noise and it vibrates quite a lot. Now I know that vibration has been used in many different applications and doesn't is, is said to not work but I have found this to be quite effective. Maybe it's the combination of squeaky noises the vibrations and the actual noise that is transferred through the four legs into the soil but this bed behind me where you can see there's quite a lot of greenery this one is sitting on the edge as the wind blows it looks quite nice it vibrates it makes a noise i haven't got any voles in this bed yet and i don't have any perimeter plants like the wild garlic and i don't have any underground borders either so this is something that has worked for me and if you're in south africa probably going to be able to find these quite easily they look quite cool in the garden especially when they're busy blowing in the wind but if you're in other countries around the world you might struggle with something like this um, and I would suggest finding that is something finding something that is quite mechanical like this quite noisy not something that is highly tech techy or like ergonomical or anything like that old school vibrations noise and that I'm sure will do the trick and then the third and final thing you can do is to put in a barrier. Now here you have quite a few different options. You can look at something like a solid barrier, like a wooden plank or bricks, stones, rocks, anything that you can put underground that is solid that is going to create an underground barrier so that the voles, mole rats can't get through it. It needs to be deep enough that they're not going to go underneath and usually anything up to 20 centimeters is enough you don't want to dig meters down then you start getting into mole territory but what you want to do is make sure that as these little buggers are busy scoping out your garden that if they hit a rock they're just going to move along and you see it quite often they will go all around your bed following the perimeter trying to find a way in like I said, this is just a wooden plank from someone who was throwing away some, some decking. I'm going to dig the depth of this. This is about 15 centimeters wide. I'm sorry, high, which is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna dig a hole about 25 centimeters. And what that's gonna give is this plus a little gap. The, the, the voles aren't gonna get through that gap, but it's gonna give me a little bit more depth. Things you can also use chicken wire although that is going to break down pretty quickly when it comes to all the moisture rust all of that but it will work and the voles will start realizing there's a barrier and it'll stay away you can also use um, the plastic square or diamond netting which you can also use as a border all the way underneath that's quite effective but it is adding plastics into your garden which over time <coughs> might break down might, might release things so that's very much up to you to decide. But I find the most cost effective and most effective way to do it is to find rocks, find bricks, find cinder blocks, find old pieces of wood, dig down and simply add those in. <coughs> Another thing is if you have slightly raised or not slightly, if you have fully raised beds before you make your bed, add a layer of something at the bottom, whether that is a mesh, chicken wire, um, grids, whatever it might be, make sure the holes are small enough that they can't get through. But what will that what will happen there is the voles and all these little things will come up and they'll try and get underneath and they'll hit the barrier. Then you don't need to worry about perimeters because you are solving the whole issue of them coming through the bottom. But if you have a slightly raised bed like this, you don't necessarily want to be putting anything at the bottom because then you can't grow things like carrots, turnips, beets, anything that has a taproot with a bulb because then they get tangled around the base. And as you pull them out, you end up breaking the plant, which is defeating the whole purpose of growing root crops. So yes, all in all, 
perimeter and prevention underneath is probably going to be the most effective but as i've shown you using wild garlic for me also works and using something more mechanical like a windmill those are for instances that you already have something in place and you haven't done anything to prevent creepy crawlies from coming underneath prevention is always better than trying to figure out is this guy still inside here i don't know and if that happens to you what you need to do get a chair get some coffee at night time sit very quietly for quite a while probably a few hours with a headlamp on and watch your soil if you see your soil starts moving and lifting then it's inside but i have found the little entrance and exit tunnel right in front of me which i've closed it every day and the next morning it's raised so i figured out that the one that's in here leaves and comes back so i'm going to close this off do it all the way around and then i'm going to watch it again to make sure that it hasn't found some way to get back in or it hasn't left little friends behind but yes I hope you learned something from this. I hope you can keep these pesky little buggers out of your roots and let your plants grow because you are going to be keeping them out of your garden. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my journey where I'm going to continue to share tips, tricks, insights, all these things like this. And drop me a comment if you've got any questions or if you're just generally frustrated by moles, voles, rats, gophers in your garden. Until next time, happy growing.